This is a quick demo of the new attached text figure feature in Curio 6.4. Uh, this has been a popular request over the past few months and even years where people, they don't want the formality of a mind map, but they'd like to just to quickly connect uh, a lot of figures together uh, as they're brainstorming ideas. So let's begin with uh, grabbing the text tool, hitting T for the text tool, and uh, we'll start working on uh, some, some terms. We'll say Apple, I'll hold down the command key and click. I'll get an arrow to a new text figure, uh, computers. Hold down the command key again, click. Uh, they have the Mac. And hold down the command key again, and they have the iMac. So you notice as I'm holding down, if I hold down the command key, I get a sticky line connecting the previous figure and a brand new text figure. Now, this also works if the figure is simply selected, not being, you, you don't have to edit it. So let me click back over here at Apple, hold the command key down, click. They also make iPods, um, or let's say music, and then iPods. And let's click back on Apple, come over here and they type, type iPhone, and come over and maybe they also are into something might be like a tablet. So anyway, uh, this is a very quick way of making uh, a, a less formal flowchart. Now the other thing is we have a few more shortcuts. If you hold just the command key down, you see that you get a single arrow head, single. But if you hold down command and shift, you get a double uh, arrow head pointing down and up. And if you hold command and option, you get no arrowheads. So very quickly, it's a way of making a, a, a nice flow chart. Um, the other thing is it'll copy the style. So if I use the bracket keys to give this one a nice border, um, maybe increase the font, give it a fill, uh, turn on some a gradient. Um, so this is what this figure looks like now. If while I have that selected, if I hold command key down to create an attached text figure, it copies the style of the previous figure. Here is more text. So it copies the coloring, the border, everything. Um, if I take this one and give it a, a specific shape and maybe change its shading to something else, uh, I'll hold the command and shift key down to get a double arrow head. Copies the other formatting. So anyway, um, and these are sticky lines, so they're you can move them all around and things like that. Um, and you can select everybody and give them borders and whatever else you want to do. They're all independent figures uh, connected together with sticky lines. So it really gives you some flexibility that mind maps don't give you. So anyway, that's attached figures. Enjoy.